Hello viewers, I welcome you to my new channel called Objective Chemistry and the topic of today's session is Thermodynamics. Basically, I have two words. I have two words. First one is Thermo and the second one is Dynamics. Thermo means heat and Dynamics means motion. So basically, this is a general topic which is used in our day to day life. So basically we talk about heat and we talk about motion that is motion of heat is basically a chapter we call it as thermodynamics heat plus motion is our topic called thermodynamics so when i will define heat and motion i have some of terms like that transfer of heat so basically heat will transfer transfer of heat I will say flow of heat I will say flow of heat similarly I will define it as increase of heat and last but not the least that is decrease of heat that is decrease of heat so I will define my flow of heat in varieties of terms first one is my transfer of heat second one is flow of heat third one is increase of heat and fourth one is decrease of heat the arrow upward is symbolized for increase of heat and decrease of heat for decrease of heat the arrow is downward and for heat i will symbolize as the symbol delta the delta stands for heat so basically if you if you see this delta this triangle that is heat so let me give you the day to day life example that is ice. So you know that when ice will be there that is the temperature maintained is obviously 0 degree Celsius and the state of ice is solid right. So basically when I will take water basically when I will take water. So the formula of water is H2O okay when I will take water and I will take it into freezer I will take it into the freezer what will happen in freezer the temperature maintained is 0 degree Celsius and when I will take water in freezer the temperature maintained is 0 degree Celsius and the liquid water because initially water is in liquid form when I will keep it in the freezer what will happen the liquid form converted to solid form the liquid form converted into solid form and similarly when I will take this liquid on a gas on a gas and I will allow it to boil what, what I will see there I will see that eventually the water vaporizes eventually the water vaporizes eventually the water vaporizes so i can mark here i will take ice i will take ice which is maintained at a temperature 0 degree celsius when i will keep that water in the atmospheric temperature 40 degree celsius so let me giving you this is suppose I am taking this water in summer season so obviously I will get the atmospheric temperature as 40 degrees Celsius so there what will happen you will put ice outside of freezer when it will be in freezer the temperature maintained is 0 degrees Celsius what you will see there the state of water the state of water I am saying that the state of water is solid there when you will put that ice outside the freezer in the summer season what will happen surrounding temperature is 40 degree so for that 40 degree celsius the ice start melting the ice start melting for the melting of ice the ice converted into the liquid form the ice eventually converted into the liquid form so the state changes 
from solid to liquid when I will put the ice in surrounding temperature. Same, the same liquid when I will allow it to boil for 100 degrees Celsius. Giving you once again the statement when I will put the same liquid to, to, uh, to boil some liquid to boil maintaining a temperature 100 degrees celsius what you will see there put that water okay put that water on the gas and allow it to boil up to 100 degrees celsius temperature what you will see there this water start vaporizes water start vaporizes you will see some of gas remember what happens when we boil water when we boil water when the temperature reaches 100 degrees celsius what will happen there remember what will happen there there you will see the uh, water vaporizes so some of gas you see evaporates there so this is gas this is gaseous form this is gaseous form or you can say water vaporizes water vaporizes so i can symbol here as water g or water v means water vaporizes or water converted into gaseous form so i have three states i have three states when i put water in freezer the temperature maintained is zero degrees celsius when same water i'll put that outside of fridge outside of freezer what i will see there because of surrounding temperature suppose that was 40 degrees celsius the water the water solid form the water which was in solid form in freezer same water converted into liquid form i am saying that's the same water from solid state to convert it into liquid form same water when i will boil for 100 degrees celsius the water start evaporating so i will say the water states changes the state of water changes from solid to liquid to vapor so i will maintain here by giving you equation water solid water liquid and water vapor temperature 0 degree celsius temperature 40 degree celsius temperature 100 degree celsius what i will see there i see there 0 to 40 degree celsius state changes 40 degree to 100 degree celsius state changes the state is solid liquid and gas the state is solid liquid and gas this is increase of heat due to increase of heat the state of water changes that is i will say this is the motion of water i will say not the motion of water it's a joke at all it's the motion of heat water doesn't move water doesn't have any kind of motion the heat has its motion and due to the uh, due to the motion of heat that means i will say due to the increase of heat due to the increase of heat from 0 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius from 0 degree, 0 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius the state of water changes this is what the thermodynamics means so basically this is a general day to the life of topic it's a very easy topic so in the next video we will discuss very very interesting aspects of this topic called thermodynamics so please like share and subscribe this channel i hope that you will like this video thank you very much